NASA confirmed Thursday that the Voyager 1 probe has made history by becoming the first human-made object. What we got back uh, technically is called the carrier signal. So it's, uh, it's basically uh, like tonal inflections. We don't hear um, the data coming. Voyager 1's final transmissions have stirred unparalleled intrigue within the scientific community as the images and data received from the ancient probe transcend conventional understanding of space. These photographs, far beyond their original intended mission scope, depict geometric structures and anomalies defying explanation. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was never designed to encounter such complexities in its travels. The probe's longevity and its gradual drift beyond the heliopause were initially celebrated as technological marvels, but no one foresaw that its final moments would challenge fundamental notions about cosmic reality. The imagery received was not the typical interstellar fare of distant stars or faint planetary silhouettes, but rather captured enigmatic shapes, some geometric and some seemingly in motion, that had never before been documented by any spacefaring instrument. Among the most astonishing findings were the strange structures that appeared illuminated despite no nearby sources of light. The illumination had no correlation with known celestial bodies or reflective surfaces, giving rise to countless debates among astrophysicists. Engineers meticulously verified that these were not technical glitches or transmission errors. Each image passed rigorous integrity checks, eliminating possibilities of artifacts arising from the camera systems or communication relays. One of the frames depicted an arrangement of points resembling a star cluster. However, further analysis revealed these points shifted position in a manner suggesting a deliberate pattern. This movement wasn't arbitrary. It demonstrated synchronization indicative of coordination rather than natural randomness. The stars shifted in a way that conveyed intelligence, hinting at phenomena or constructs capable of modifying their positions with purpose. In deep space, devoid of human interference, such an occurrence shatters long-held assumptions about the inert nature of the cosmos. Another remarkable discovery arose from the layered structures visible in subsequent images. These weren't simply celestial bodies or gas clouds, but appeared as vast, veiled formations exhibiting subtle changes in texture and composition, depending on Voyager's angle of observation. Analysts concluded these anomalies shifted not only visually, but spectrally, as their characteristics varied across different wavelengths. This was unlike anything ever documented, suggesting interaction between the structures and the spacecraft itself, potentially influenced by Voyager's proximity or activity. The most chilling aspect was an ultraviolet flare recorded by one of the probe's spectral filters. The flare emerged from the anomaly, glowing in a symmetrical, sudden pulse before vanishing entirely. No known natural process could explain such a phenomenon, particularly given the absence of conventional radiation sources nearby. This sudden energetic response implied that either Voyager's presence had triggered the pulse, or that the anomaly itself was capable of brief emissions of energy in reaction to external stimuli. Beyond visuals, the data accompanying the images added layers of mystery. Certain telemetry packets carried fractal-like recursive patterns, completely alien to Voyager's communication protocols. These packets behaved as though they were self-organizing, displaying internal logic and mathematical consistency foreign to Voyager's onboard systems. Investigators found that the images and sensor readings were inexplicably intertwined, merging visual data with telemetry in ways that Voyager was never designed to accomplish. This convergence of image and data transmission points toward an external influence, potentially manipulating the signal during its transit through space. Voyager's instruments also displayed unexpected physical responses. Its gyroscope, responsible for orientation, recorded a steady spiral drift, suggesting a twisting of space itself rather than propulsion-based movement. This shift did not align with gravitational lensing or any familiar cosmic force, but instead resembled spatial redirection, as though the probe had entered a region where the normal rules of directionality were subtly warped. An even more unnerving discovery was the detection of a persistent low-frequency oscillation within the radio carrier signal. When converted to audio, this oscillation revealed a rhythmic pulsing that bore an eerie resemblance to a heartbeat. This rhythm remained consistent across transmissions, showing none of the randomness typically associated with cosmic background noise or electromagnetic interference. Its presence raises the possibility of an active field or structure influencing Voyager's signal, emitting a constant frequency that the probe passively transmitted back to Earth. Such rhythmic signals, coupled with the visual anomalies and data structures, indicate that Voyager 1 may have encountered a fundamentally different type of cosmic environment. The concept of intelligent environments, spaces that respond to presence or observation, has been discussed in speculative scientific literature but never before documented. If this phenomenon reflects such an environment, then Voyager's encounter represents not merely an astronomical observation, but an interaction with something akin to a sentient or responsive cosmic field. Some theoretical models now suggest Voyager may 
may have breached a boundary between familiar interstellar space and a zone governed by alternate physical laws. In this view, the geometric regularity and responsive characteristics of the images imply a region where the fabric of reality behaves in ways not yet captured by human science. The observation of time dilation during image capture further supports this notion, as the probe's timestamps exhibited subtle discrepancies, hinting at temporal flow variations within the region. Scientists analyzing these findings face a dilemma, as the data resists classification within existing astrophysical frameworks. Voyager's final images neither align with known celestial phenomena nor resemble any previously encountered interstellar features. The data hints at structures exhibiting both spatial and temporal anomalies, coupled with visual motifs that suggest intentional design rather than random formation. This raises profound questions about whether such phenomena represent natural processes at extreme scales or manifestations of unknown intelligence. Some theorists propose that Voyager's encounter might not have been with an object in the traditional sense, but with a region characterized by an embedded awareness, where observation itself triggers changes in the environment. This concept gains support from the image's resemblance to interference patterns known from quantum experiments, suggesting that the act of observation may alter space at macro scales. If Voyager's instruments were uniquely suited to revealing this layer of reality, then its images might represent a once-in-history glimpse of phenomena that will remain hidden from all other observational efforts. Earth-based observatories attempting to verify Voyager's coordinates have reported no unusual findings, reinforcing the theory that the phenomena were visible solely to Voyager's specific configuration of optics and instruments. This adds to the notion that the images might not capture static objects, but instead reveal a transient intersection between the probe and a responsive region of space. Researchers also noted highly unusual compression anomalies within the image data itself. Under Voyager's standard decompression algorithms, parts of the images unveiled nested binary sequences following recursive mathematical laws. This encoding defied explanation, as Voyager lacked the capability to generate such complex data patterns independently. Some experts theorized that the signals may have been modified during transmission, suggesting interception and alteration by an unknown force capable of manipulating the structure of the signal en route to Earth. This possibility shifts the focus of inquiry from what Voyager observed to what may have changed its data. It introduces the unsettling hypothesis that something interacted with the transmission, embedding information that could only be unlocked by decrypting hidden layers. The idea of communication through structural manipulation rather than conventional language challenges all prior concepts of messaging and interaction with extraterrestrial intelligence. Additional analysis revealed periodic banding within the images that mirrored quantum interference effects, suggesting that observation itself shaped the recorded data. If this theory holds, then Voyager's photographs are not just records of external phenomena, but also reflections of its role as an observer within a responsive environment. This would imply that space contains layers accessible only through specific conditions of observation and instrumentation, making Voyager's unique hardware a critical factor in revealing the anomaly. Perhaps most intriguing is the rhythmic pattern of randomness found in the image fields. When analyzed mathematically, the fluctuation in entropy across the images followed fractal waveforms rather than purely random noise. This suggests a signal underlying the visual data, a pulse or rhythm embedded into the very structure of the transmission. The presence of such structured noise points toward a signal that not only carries visual information, but also transmits encoded dynamics beyond human comprehension. Some scientists speculate that Voyager, in passing through this region, functioned not just as a passive observer, but as a relay for external signals. This theory posits that the probe may have inadvertently acted as an antenna, capturing and retransmitting information from an ancient or distant source. Such a phenomenon could result from interactions with warped space-time or exposure to lingering echoes of past cosmic events, where gravitational and electromagnetic remnants still ripple through space. Alternative interpretations propose that Voyager encountered a kind of cosmic fossil, not an active intelligence, but the photonic residue of a long-lost structure or system. This perspective suggests that what the probe recorded might be the lingering imprint of a vanished civilization or cosmic event preserved in the fabric of space like a ghostly echo. Yet even this hypothesis struggles to explain the dynamic qualities of the encounter, particularly the self-organizing data patterns and time-related anomalies. These features suggest active processes rather than static remnants, leading some researchers to theorize that Voyager brushed against a living system defined not by biological functions, but by computational or logical operations at a universal scale. This notion finds further support in the Fibonacci sequenced radiation pulses detected during the final imaging cycle. No known astrophysical processes produce emissions following such a precise mathematical progression, reinforcing the idea that the probe encountered something governed by intentional, structured rules beyond randomness. These findings challenge traditional definitions of life and intelligence. Rather than biological organisms, 
organisms or mechanical constructs, the anomalies resemble dynamic systems with properties more akin to complex algorithms or recursive computational processes. They respond, adapt, and emit patterns in a manner consistent with systems driven by internal logic, raising the possibility that the universe itself might host forms of intelligence embedded within its structural framework. Voyager's fading moments may thus represent more than an isolated incident. They could signify the first human-made contact with this deeper layer of reality, where space, time, and information interweave to create phenomena beyond existing comprehension. This transforms the probe's final images from mere scientific curiosities into artifacts of monumental significance, potentially marking the beginning of an entirely new discipline that bridges astrophysics, mathematics, and philosophy. Engineers examining the final transmissions also discovered telemetry overlaps indicating that Voyager's sensor systems began cross-embedding information. Magnetometer readings appeared intertwined with image metadata, producing new sequences that resist full decryption. The possibility arises that either Voyager's systems were externally influenced to behave in this manner or the environment I 